Bonner, if you can, uh, talk about uh, Matt Bonner's impact on the series so far. 29 minutes off the bench again tonight, double-double, or had the 10 points rather, and seemed to really be a, a factor defensively against Howard. Uh, how would you describe Bonner's play? He was a uh, key player for us today, uh, being very active defensively. You, you, of course, he he's giving Dwight a big advantage on size and a bit and strength and quickness. Uh, I can't keep going. <laughs> But uh, he did a great job getting around him, fronting him from behind, and helping. He he was very active, getting rebounds too, and then of course being a threat the whole time at the three-point line. You know, we should have given him even more the ball today. He was open a few times, uh, but you know, the few times he got the ball, he 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 made the shot, uh, and you know, we had Thiago with foul trouble for most of the game, so it, it was huge for us to to have another key contributor uh, from the bigs. Both coaches talked about kind of this is you guys just holding serve. Is that kind of the mentality in the locker room? We won two at home, now we got to go win one on the road. Definitely. Uh, in the past, we, we've lost series like this. Uh, last year, even against the Lakers a few years ago. Uh, so it, it can happen. Uh, we have a great advantage, but we just got to be very humble, work hard, and knowing full well that we want to win one on the on the road. Uh, if not, you know, game half five after we into two is always very complicated. So we, we just we want to go there and, and play a great game. Manu, uh, before the game, Pop, I think, talked a bit about your minutes and thought he, you know, could play you 20 or so. Um, you play 19. I mean, do you feel like that's about what you have to give per game right now? No, no. I, I am ready to play. Uh, more too. I mean, he's always very cautious, and probably I could have played a little more today. But you know, we we had a great lead in the fourth out seventeen, I think. So he probably thought that we had a shot at you know closing it right there. Um, but no, I, I'm I'm ready to 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 play my minutes. Um, you know, I'm not the type of player that's going to play forty ever. Um, but you know, around t between twenty five to thirty, that is what I usually play. I, I think I'm ready. Manu, Tony had four points at half, ended up with 28. A lot of that coming in the third quarter. Was that the best stretch of basketball you've seen him play in quite a while? He he was impressive in the second half. Uh, he really took over, was very aggressive, uh, getting fouled, making those jumpers. Um, so we, of course, we, we need Tony like that. Uh, you can't always play a game like that, you know, 24 point half. But uh, he's had... Unbelievable games this season, and but he, you know, he struggled physically in, in the last month or so. But now, hopefully, he he's getting back healthy, and uh, we're gonna see, uh, you know, a more uh, old school Tony, like November, December, January Tony. Matt Bonner against Dwight Howard. Mm -hmm. How how that matchup go? Did well, of course, him? if you see that on paper, you, you you may think that he has no no shot, of course, but we against. Probably every all-star is, is about a team defense job. And he did a wonderful job fronting him, uh, if, uh, bothering him uh, with activity. And behind him, we were all ready to, to help him. Uh, but of course, with, with Thiago having foul trouble, uh, we really needed him to step up and, and do a good job. And he, he really did. He, he had a great game. You guys played pretty well today, uh, made some adjustments, but it just seems like they throw so many different questions and players at you that you can't answer everything that they throw at you. How frustrating is that uh, dealing with a team like that? Oh, well, you know, they just did a good job of uh, <clears throat> coming up with, you know, plays we haven't seen, you know, and then uh, some of their guys got hot, you know, as we were trying to make a run, and um, they just made it tough. Yeah, Dwight, it seemed they were triple team, and you sometimes four guys on you. You seem to get did that frustrate you at all? It seemed to frustrate you at some point. Oh yeah, uh, it's frustrating. Uh, but I just got to trust uh, my my teammates to make shots, and um, uh, when they do uh, double, triple, whatever they do, um, just um, be aware of uh, my arms and you know, try not to get them tangled up. 
Dwight, in that third quarter, you guys are starting to make a run, and then Tony Parker just kind of took over in the second half, scored 24 points. Did that kind of get you guys down a little bit? That you're, like, you were, you keep seeming to get so close, and then you just can't get over that hump. Uh, well, I don't think it got us down. You know, he just hit some tough shots, and uh, we weren't able to recover from it. Uh, we just got to go home now and um, win the next two. Dwight, getting back to the uh, frustration thing, specifically Matt Bonner um, gave them some good minutes. Did he get under your skin a little bit at all? Nah. He didn't. It's funny. Funny guy. Is this something that you're going to see the rest of the series? This, you know, it was obvious their whole game plan was just to just to swarm you, and how, you know, and are you confident you guys have the the enough weapons to overcome that? Oh well, yeah. Either uh, we overcome it, or we go home. And uh, we don't want to go home. Uh, we don't fault to get into the playoffs. We don't fault this far. And uh, we're going to keep fighting. Um, they can send as many guys as they want in there. Um, but, you know, uh, I just got to trust the guys on my team uh, to hit those shots. And, um, you know, they got to battle. You know, they got to battle every, every possession, you know, so. Doing that full whole series, you know, it, it's going to wear them down. So I just can't get too frustrated to where <clears throat> it takes me out of what I need to do for my team uh, for us to win. You you talked about the the fight right right now. You talked about the fight. Um, talk about the fight in Steve Nash. Coach says that he's nowhere near a hundred percent. But talk about your respect for the fight he's putting up in the situation he's in. Oh, well, you know, we, uh, Steve wants to play. He wants to help, help our team win. And uh, he's he's doing whatever he can. You know, we understand that he's hurt. You know, he's limping on every play, but he's trying to play play through it. Um, you know, everybody else just had to step up, you know, and uh, help him out. You know, guys coming off the bench, uh, just got to play as hard as they can, you know. Uh, so when Steve is out, you know, he can really, you know, recover from – uh, his time on the floor. Brand Freeman, KGMB. Dwight, does the team feel a bit snake bitten right now? I mean, Steve Blake got her. We don't know what the extent of the injury is, but certainly, you know, Kobe's injury, um, Na and Nash has talked about him, now Blake. Is there some bad luck involved with the team right now? Um, we've, we've had, you know, a rough year, uh, but, you know, we're not going to hang our heads. You know, guys have gone down. Um, but you know we still we're still a team. We still have a great opportunity in front of us. Uh, we we just can't lose our faith. You know with, with guys getting banged up and you know guys falling. You know uh, another guys to step up and play. Uh, it hurts to see you know people go down. You know we've had guys go down all year. Um, but you know we still got to stay strong and we still got to believe. Go last question. Yeah, can you talk about your technical foul? Can you talk about my technical foul. Yeah. Oh, well, um, they call a foul. And I told the ref, uh, I love you. And I uh, got a take for it. No love on the floor. 